That night, the Fat Controller spoke severely to Percy. I'm very disappointed in you, Percy, he said. You know it's against the rules to go on the tipper's loading ramp. Sorry, sir, Percy said sadly, but it wasn't my fault. It's because those diesels made me a middle engine. Nevertheless, you will shunt trucks in the yard until I can get to the bottom of this. Pa, said James, thinking no one could hear. I could handle those diesels with bent buffers and a busted boiler. Then you will do Percy's run to the smelter. Yes, sir, said James. The next day, James arrived at the smelter. He was determined not to be tricked by Harry and Bert. Hello, James, oozed Harry. Can't I learn a thing or two from those who know? Just get my trucks ready and stay out of my way, huffed James importantly. Yes, sir, Bert chimed greasily. James cheerfully backed up to his trucks. He was certain he had fooled Harry and Bert, but he was wrong. Little red piggy in the middle, chortled Harry. Just like Percy, jeered Bert. I am not like Percy, huffed James. I am not a middle engine and I'm not moving. And he didn't. When the Fat Controller heard the news, he sent Percy to fetch James. This made Percy happy. He buffered up to James and took him along with all the trucks to the docks. Right on time, said the manager. But what is that big red engine doing in the middle? Learning, Percy replied. Learning what? Learning to be a middle engine. James covered himself in steam, hoping no one would recognise him. But it was no good. There is only one big red engine on the island, and everyone knows his name is James. James.